congratulate uh, Kaliabai. And if you're the accountant and advising him on business, then you're doing a damn good job because this is his fourth establishment I see that he establishes. Um, I just came back from Bangladesh, as many of you know. Um, after my term in the Senate is over, I decided I'm going to move to Celeb. <laughs> uh, the weather there is a lot nicer than what we have here today. Uh, but we, you know, obviously we went to Dhaka, we went to Cox's Bazaar, we went to uh, Select. We went to visit the uh, the Rohingya refugee camps. And on that note, I have to say that the country of Bangladesh has done an amazing humanitarian mission uh, to bring in 1.2 million people to help them because they would be victims of genocide. It's really a testament to the beauty, to the humanity of the people of Bangladesh. And we know with that comes problems, thank you. We know that brings problems, but the fact that you're doing it is an amazing feat. Now I, I understand my community better now that I've been to Bangladesh. Uh, certainly I understand how men drive here and how they drive in Dhaka. And anytime anybody complains about traffic in New York City, I'm gonna say you have to go to Dhaka. You feel like but really, it's, a, it's such a, a, a beautiful country. And you know, we met with leaders of the government, members of parliament. We met with business leaders. We met with political leaders. This wasn't a political trip for us. I'm honored to say that we took the largest contingency of elected officials from New York State in the history of Bangladesh. We took five senators there. That has never happened in the history of Bangladesh before. Now, some people try to minimize the importance of who we are as senators, state senators. Some people say, well, they're not members of Congress. They're not that important. And maybe we're not that important. <laughs> but to me, it's important that I go see a country where a lot of my voters come from. And don't be mistaken. There are many countries that do these trips. Taiwan, Japan, many countries in Europe take delegations of elected officials from New York State to their countries to get to know their countries, to get to learn about their culture. And let me tell you, even though we're celebrating Kalia's opening, I want to take this opportunity to tell you some of the things that we're going to accomplish because of our trip to Bangladesh. We're going to bring students, black students, Latino students, white students. We're going to take them to Bangladesh. We're going to bring an exchange program of college students so that they can go there and students from Bangladesh to come here. Because we want to make sure the kids that live in this area, students, people, have a good relationship and understand what it is to be a Bangladeshi American. We're also going to establish uh, cultural trips, exchanges, and we're going to bring in business people, especially from the garment industry. In January, we're going to be in contingency of people that own uh, garment businesses in Bangladesh. We're going to bring them here to meet business leaders from New York State. And so that trip, not only was it historic, but it's going to be productive. Yes. But that trip also tells me about the strength, the work ethic, and the desire to improve of the Bangladeshi people. And Khalid Bai is a testament and a symbol of that. He has come to this country. He has developed what I believe is the best Bengali food in the city and the state of New York. In fact, when I was over there eating at restaurants, I kept asking people, do you know Khalid Bai? Do you know Khalid Bai? <laughs> no one knew you, but okay. <laughs> but the food is the best. And, and it, the reputation is growing. You look here, I, I challenge anyone to tell me that what other restaurant in the Bronx has brought six state senators, a couple of members of Congress, a couple of members of the city council, and so many political leaders to one place to eat. It hasn't happened. But it's happening now because the reputation of Khalil's food is A number one. People here may come from Jackson Heights and I forgive them, but the best place to eat Bengali food is right here on McGraw Avenue. Peggy's house. And I encourage everyone to come here. I'm going to continue to talk about this establishment and the Bangladeshi people and the Bangladeshi community because you deserve that. Because you have been good to me, you have been family to me, and I will do whatever I can to promote the Bangladeshi American people that own businesses here, to promote their businesses so we can see the strength uh, of this community and what it brings to this community. And I hope that uh, more people from Bangladesh come here and eventually move into this community because we welcome you. You are great people, we love you, and want to make sure that more of your culture is brought throughout the city of New York. Donovan.